So our moth has just dropped four brand new fragrance clones all at once, kind of out of nowhere. It was a little bit surprising to me. And so I did go ahead and pick up all of them. You know, as soon as they became available, I got them. And I already did a first impressions on one of them, that being uh, our moth Club de Nui Urban Man Elixir. Now that one is kind of like a, a Prada Luna Rosa Carbon meets somewhat of a Creed Aventus type of smell, or some people are saying like Sauvage Eau de Parfum meets Creed Aventus, kind of in that vein, like a smoother Sauvage take with bits and pieces of Aventus in there. And so that one's nice. You know, I do think it could be a little bit underwhelming for some, and maybe it doesn't bring as much um, of, a, of a usefulness, so to speak, to your collection. Now, there's also Club de Nuit Iconic, which I've already shot my review on. It might not be out yet, but I do have that one in the pipeline coming to you guys. And this one here. Now, what I wanted to do was do full reviews on these going forward and instead of doing first impressions. So I kind of wanted to really kind of have some time to work through these so that way I can give you guys some performance numbers. So for Iconic, when that video comes out, again, I've gone through performance in that one and I'll be going over performance on this one as well. And so you could probably tell by looking at the note breakdown and looking at the bottle what this one is inspired by, you know, and, and kind of going into it, it wasn't a surprise to me. I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what that's going to be. And when I got this one in and I smelled it for the first time, which by the way, when I opened up the box, I could already smell it before I'd even sprayed it. I immediately knew that I was right in my assumptions. So this is officially our Moff's take on Baccarat Rouge 540. You know, there are a lot of clones of this one out there now, I've gotta say, you know, it's not a, a new trend. You know, a lot of people are really trying to uh, get after this DNA. I think it's it says something, you know, it's worthwhile to kind of dip into because it's a great fragrance DNA. But now it's our Moff's turn and we'll see how good of a job that they've done. There's another clone out there of this that I really like. More so, it's a clone of the Extrait, and that's uh, Al Haramain Amber Oud Ruby Edition. So I'm going to compare the two today, and ultimately, I'm just going to run through this, tell you how it smells, how close it is, how it performs, and all of that. So immediately, when you first get this one on your skin, or you even spray it up in the air, you get that light, wispy, kind of airy, transparent, woody, ambery smell that is Baccarat Rouge 540, that DNA. There's just nothing else out there like it. It's a mixture of saffron and amber wood and, and just some other light woods in here, some light musks that is unlike anything else I've ever smelled. You know, it's hard to pass up. You know, as soon as you smell something like this, you know exactly what it is and it's very easy to recognize. And I do think that with a DNA like that, you really have to know what you're doing and you have to be careful with what you put out because you could easily mess this up. You know, I think it would be a little bit challenging to really get an accurate representation of that light, airy wispiness. But I could tell immediately when I first smelled this one that they got it down. Now, I've had some other cheaper Baccarat Rouge 540 clones from some other like smaller clone brands, you know, in the 30 ml bottles, just those types of things. And those go in a very, very rubbery, latexy direction. They kind of smell flat and cheap and two dimensional. So there are definitely some, some poorer BR540 clones out there, right? Just inferior in quality. Um, but this one, I've got to say, has impressed me. Now, to be fair, going into this, I didn't think it was going to suck. You know, Armoff, they've really kind of built up a name for themselves at this point, got popular cloning Creed Aventus generally, a lot of other Creed clones as well. Um, but they, they've kind of made a good name for themselves. So I figured it would be good, but it's actually impressed me a little bit. So let's go ahead and go over the note breakdown on this one here. Up top, we have saffron and jasmine. In the mid, we have amber gris and amber wood. And in the base, we have fir resin and cedar wood. So not a whole lot going on as far as notes. You know, there aren't a ton of them here. And really, same thing with Baccarat Rouge 540. There aren't a ton of notes. I mean, it accomplishes... Um, what it does in just a relatively linear format and in a format where it doesn't need a whole bunch of notes to create this scent. Really, it's just focusing on the saffron, the amber wood, and the fir resin, really, and some, some of the cedar wood to kind of give off this nice light but still somewhat unisex and, and, and mature 
kind of upscale smell. You know, when I smell something like this, BR540 and some of their other good clones, you know, it's a fragrance that kind of has this um, classiness, you know, kind of the sophisticated smell. You know, this smells like you're you're getting down to business and you're trying to accomplish big things. You know, there's nothing about this that's really youthful or playful or anything like that. And to that point, this type of thing isn't for everybody. It is different. You know, it's not going to be a, a typical blue fragrance. It's not going to be like our Moff Club Dino Wee Urban Elixir or Iconic, right? Those are going to be generally more mass pleasing. This type of thing, it's so ambery, it's so transparent, woody and wispy and light, it's just different. But in terms of smelling like Baccarat Rouge 540, it is very close, impressively close. You know, I've got to give it to them. They did a great job here on this one. Now, this is an Eau de Parfum. Same with Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum. Now, going back to the Al Haramain, you know, I've talked highly about that one. That one, the Ruby Edition, is more so a clone of BR540 Extrait, reason why is because of the almond accord. So there's no almond in here. So this one's kind of going after the EDP. So my advice to you is if you're looking for a clone, a Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum, I gotta say, it, compared to what I've smelled out there on the market, talking about clones of the EDP in particular, this is probably the best one. You know, again, I've tried some others that have just not been that good. They've been kind of uh, for lack of a better term, off-putting some of them, you know, I think it can just be a little bit challenging to get this right, but Armoff has done it. Now, if you're looking for a clone of the Extrait, then I would go out with the Al Haramain, you know, the Ruby Edition, that almond in there sets it apart and it gets you close to that version. Now, what everyone has been waiting for here is going to be performance. So generally, this DNA is kind of just like Sauvage and your other Blue fragrances and the fact that it's very heavy on the amber, ambroxan, ambergris to the point where it causes olfactory fatigue. Baccarat Rouge 540 is one of the strongest fragrances on my skin in my collection, but you'll also see people say they only get two hours out of it. Generally, it's just olfactory fatigue, right? It's very common to fall into that trap. So do be careful with this type of DNA. Um, very strong stuff. This one is no exception. On my skin, it's been a consistent 12 plus hour performer and that sounds crazy, but I'm serious. When you're testing this one, make sure to avoid spraying directly underneath your nose. So avoid spraying anywhere on your chest or the front of your neck because that constant scent radiating up will blow out your nose and then your nose is going to start to tune it out. My advice to you when you're testing this one, spray on the back of your neck, you know, spray on, you know, your, your shoulders or, or just try to generally avoid the front half of your body here when you're trying to get an idea for performance and then you'll be able to get a better, more accurate representation of how long it's lasting. Like I said, for me, the 12 hour mark is, is very consistent. Uh, not much longer than that, but still right around there, which I think is very impressive given the price. And that's another thing with this DNA, some other clones I've tried out there, some of the cheaper ones, some of the ones that just haven't been as good, you know, maybe they'll nail the scent to some extent, but then the performance will kind of fall apart and it just won't last as long, you know, or there's always going to be some areas with clones where it lacks, you know, and then this one, I think it's a really good balance of having pretty darn good quality, great performance, and great accuracy. Sometimes it's kind of like a pick two scenario. You can either have really good performance and really good quality, but maybe it's not quite as accurate or any other variation of those. But I think this one kind of hits the nail on the head for all three of those categories, which I really respect. So ultimately, again, just to sum this up really quick, if you're looking for BR540 Eau de Parfum clones at an affordable price, I gotta say, Check out the Armoff. I think this is going to be all around the best bang for your buck, the best quality and all of that stuff. If you're looking for a clone of the Extrait, as of right now, it's going to be Al Haramain Amber Oud Ruby Edition, unless Armoff releases a, a different version in Extrait and they kind of go after the Extrait. And in that case, maybe that'll be the new king of that, but I, we don't have that yet. So I will provide a link to this one down below along to all of the other new Armoffs. And like I said, stay tuned, get subscribed. I'll be doing reviews and stuff on the other new ones as time goes. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.